I have two fears in this world. Incomprehensibly large spaces and solo Warlord's Ruin. Oh, no! That's right, Guardians, there's a new dungeon, and as is tradition on my channel, I'm gonna try my hardest to solo it. Now, I wasn't lying in my intro. I'm very scared of this dungeon, and massive desolate spaces, dear god. But if you ask me, I think this is the hardest dungeon Bungie's released, and not just solo. The health pools are, well, Jamornis. And the sheer number of adds can be straight up suffocating. Yes, I honestly think this dungeon is harder than the DPS simulator that was Ghosts of the Deep. But regardless, I'm gonna give this my best shot. I really tried my hardest, so strap in, because this one's a wild ride. I know a lot of you were waiting for this one, so here is how not to solo Warlord's Ruin. Because I'm here. So am yeah. I. I'm here for eternity, big dog. So I'm am here. I. How about this? How about this? On God you won't touch me. Oh, okay. On God, okay, on God, God you won't first touch me. Before we start, I want to give a quick shout out to our partner, Gamersubs. Gamersubs is there to help you stay focused on all those late night trials and raid sessions. It's gotten to the point where myself and Duck always have some with us while we play or when we need to focus. It's also great because their scoops are really small, especially when compared to some other gaming drink companies. So it's healthier and it'll last you a while. Also, the shakers and tubs are just really cool looking. So if you use code TOAD at checkout, you'll get 10% off your order and directly support me in making these videos. But I don't want to waste your time, so let's begin our adventure. The plan right now, all right, this may look weird to some of you, okay? The plan for Solo Warlord's Ruin. The Appentance, the Indebted Kindness, New Sidearm, Volt Shot, Pretty Goaded, Pretty Meta, and Queen Breaker. Yes! Now you'll notice it's not infused. We'll fix that, all right? We'll fix that. Don't no, 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 no. Let, let me cook a little bit longer. Let me cook a little bit longer. The reason we have all of this on is because we're not actually rocking any of this. I'm just fucking with you. We're this at. is actually what we're rocking. Okay. Wither Horde, Zali's Bane, Cataclysmic with four times the charm, high impact reserves, this Pyrogill Gauntlets. We'll give it a shot though. We'll try the first boss like this. Will you guys scream at me if I infuse Queen Breakers with this Cataphract? I'm gonna do it. And nobody can stop me. Maya who donated $2. Queen oh Breaker. shit. Yeah, I should have gotten that. How big of a damage boost is this? Isn't it like 5 or 10 percent? 15! So I grinded for an hour or two to get solo operative, but it was just taking forever with my limited seasonal challenges. So unfortunately, we ended up going in without it. All right, everyone. Godspeed. Hey, demons. Oh my god. Oh. The aesthetic of this dungeon has got to be the best. All right, first encounter, boys. Let's do it. I went ahead and gave Queen Breaker a shot for the memes, and just because I desperately want this weapon to be good, but it just isn't, man. Can't see. Oh, this is so goaded. Okay. Hello. So we're going. And I missed. Oh, I'm about to die. Wow, that was god tier damage. Try for that. Oh, and we're dead. <laughs> I tried again for laughs, but it didn't work, so we swapped on to the real deal. Let's stop being silly. Wow, that this is a great start. Right, Wither Horde. For what I was doing, this was actually pretty mid damage. Even still, it blew Queen Breaker out of the water. You know, maybe if I just if I just had the right artifact mods and, and the right fragments and the right aspects and arc surges and arc surges, you know, like Queen Breaker, it could truly be meta. We can make it meta. I can make it meta. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, wow, wow, that was scuffed. Okay, well, that was... That was pretty awesome. Okay. Was that W damage or what? Yeah, the ogre will probably stop me in my tracks a bit. This guy is really just a warm up. Uh, okay, where are you? Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Where is the other one? What the shit? So it turns out I'm an idiot because the last die was right here. Regardless, I got on my feet and made it back with ease. Okay, unfortunately, that is not what we Oh, God. Oh, I see it. 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 Get me out of here. Oh shit. Let me get out of here. Let me just leave. Let me just leave. We'll do big damage next run with the super. A lot of heavy. Holy, what was this a minute ago? Hello. That's fine. Oh shit. That's fine. Holy crap, man. Oh my god. Alright, that got the blood flowing. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. First encounter done, lads. Let's go. Wasn't that bad. Wasn't that bad. Now, how does this work solo? Now, to the uninitiated, you might be thinking, man, Toad, you went through that boss really fast. Maybe this dungeon won't be so bad. What 
the scallop? I will say, if we actually solo this dungeon, I will be beyond impressed. I also didn't even realize that this dungeon was Dungeons and Dragons themed until Bife pointed it out. Stop it. that from happening. Holy. Holy. Oh boy, here we go, chat. Here we go. So this encounter is another boss fight, an ogre called the Locus of Wailing Grief. That is a name. There's a lot of ads here, and the Locus has kind of a lot of health. Being a taken ogre, his eye beam doesn't really do a whole lot of damage. Instead, it just pushes you back, like really far, which is the last thing you want happening to you on top of a castle. This certainly won't lead to any fair and balanced deaths later on. If that wasn't enough, there's also this frostbite mechanic. Basically, a storm swoops in, and if you let the debuff reach times 10, you just die. All that to say, I'm once again using hammer and pyrogale gauntlets. If you're a skilled player who's familiar with the strand titan one-two punch shotgun method, you could also certainly use that. However, as someone who isn't familiar with the strand titan one-two punch shotgun method, I'll stick to my hammers. Let's just do it, I guess, man. Let's just do it. Okay, okay, okay. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta blast real quick. Oh, no, we're not gonna get it. That's fine. Right, slow and steady, boys. Slow and steady. Okay, one down. Gotta be ready to go. Three, two, one. There we go. Let's see how bad our damage is gonna be. Come on, turn around, turn around, look at me. Okay, 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 let me out, 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 let me out. Oh shit, my back, bro. Look at that back, bro. Oh my god. This, we're going to the next one. Wow, that's rough. I gotta I gotta clear some of the ads down there, but I feel like they're just gonna respawn. So I assumed incorrectly that the ads would just respawn if I killed them. Something I don't figure out until later is that the ads won't actually respawn during the DPS phase. So killing them makes it a whole lot easier to survive. Oh my god, can you guys not? Dude, he just he has no chill. He has no chill to this, honestly. And also not get home. God. Fucking damn it. Take my own advice, clear the ads. That's so painful. Oh my god, come on, man. That's crazy. That's great, we're leaving, we're leaving, we're leaving. The flames are our safe spot. What am I going this way for? Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow, that's just no fun. Just no fun. That's just no fun. Yeah, my ghost is gonna be working overtime tonight. That was just not smart. That this is pretty much how things went for about the first hour, or two. This is just nothing I can do! There's just nothing I can do! There's so many of them, and they hit so hard. Alright, get me out of here, bro. Get me! This is around when I really started wishing I had the solo operative mod. Because remember, that gives you 15% extra damage to everything, literally just for existing. But unfortunately, I don't have that, so we're just gonna have to make do. Please make this easy. Don't make this harder. I don't wanna have to put another crack in your armor. And you guys just not for two fucking seconds, dog. And I'm getting pushed away from my healing aid. Brother, no. Let me live, bro. Let me live. This fight is going to be long, but past a certain point, I was locked in. Alright chat, I fell. Alright, hello, hello, hello. Fuck. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> Let's do it again. Let's not waste any time. Let's not let it get us down. We gotta stay positive, boys. L ducks in the chat. Oh, god damn, that was close. <laughs> Wow, Bungie, what happened to that buffed tracking you were talking about? So that was a fucking lie. Skibbity, my friend. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not I'm not getting into the the Oh wow, that's crazy. That was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we'll get it back. Flames are our safe space. No, they're not, no, they're not, no, they're not, no, they're not. That's No, that's not what I want, game. The last thing I want when I'm holding a relic is to auto-lock onto the nearest enemy. That is the last thing I want. What the fuck? What the fuck? 
Dude, oh my god. Dude, when I'm holding a relic. On my list of priorities, hitting an enemy for nine damage is not very high up there. That is not what I wanted to do. There are some people who are just like, duh. Just switch to Strand Titan. I'm like, homie, I don't know how to do that, bruh. I know Zally's Bane. Oh boy. Rip whatever I was just saying. Anyway, hardcore players or players that like go all out and know the game like the back of their hand, there's nothing wrong with that. What I do have a problem with is people like that that tell other people how to play, and I, I think we all in here probably agree with that. It's just not fun, and it detours new players, and really, even veteran players. There we go. Ruggles, Ruggles, Ruggles. Give me my hammer back. Oh, my Roaring Flames just wearing out. That's so poop. Cool. Alright, let me get out of here. Alright, let's go. Holy shit! Oh boy! <laughs> unclench the cheeks. Don't unclench the cheeks, they're still clenched. Holy fuck. <laughs> I need to stop watching bait and switch gameplay, it's getting to me. I don't even have a bait and switch weapon. <laughs> What the f- What the f- No! <laughs> no! No shot. It turns out I was so locked in that I forgot about the frostbite mechanic, which has got to be one of the most frustrating deaths in here. I then had a couple more pretty bad runs, and just as I was starting to get back into my rhythm, this happened. Oh, no, that's just GG. That's GG, there's nothing I can do about that. I took another L and then decided it was time for a quick water break. Big piece of advice, if you're hitting a wall with something, don't be afraid to take a quick break, even if you don't think you need to. Though unfortunately, I forgot to hit record after coming back from my break. So this next bit is gonna be kinda poopy stream quality. Sorry about that. Look at how skippity you are. Alright, look, I have no hammer, so I'm gonna get out of here. No fucking way. No fucking way. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's fucking go! Yes! Oh, good god. Oh my god! Let's go! <laughs> you saw a supercut version, but I was here for like, no lie, probably four hours. And it sucked. But man, did killing that slug feel good. I'm like, my dude, like every atom in my body is like at max speed right now. Dude, as ass as soloing dungeons can be, and it can suck, there is nothing like the feeling of conquering. Even as one part of a solo dungeon that you've been struggling on, it's something else. We as we ascend the summit to face our final opponent, I'm getting really nervous. To solo a dungeon is a test of sheer will and endurance. The locust already had me locked in, and that took over four hours. So in order to take down Heffen, I'm really gonna have to go sicko mode. Alright, I don't know what this is gonna look like, boys. Wow, there goes my hammer. Okay, well, <laughs> there goes the first attempt. That didn't go well. Let me try that again. Heffend has some similarities with the Locust, but is generally a very different fight. Instead of a few long damage phases, you get a lot of very short damage phases. Of course, all while being swarmed by Taken Scions. Heffend also has a shit ton of health, like over 14 million. To put that in perspective, that is almost double Atheon's normal mode health and just under Oryx's. There's also a new mechanic. Just before damage, you'll be cursed with a Hex. To get rid of this Hex, you must melee one of these Scorn to transfer the curse onto them. And if you don't, then you die. <laughs> so this should be fun. You got bamboo. Back. Oh! 
Holy shit, that was close. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? I just want to do damage. I want to go back in. Not even. Okay, you know what? That's fine. That's so mean. That is actually so fucking mean. Dude, that is actually fucking crazy. Damage starts and they immediately spawn ads on you. No. That was a million damage? I hate this right now, but if we beat this, I'm gonna completely forget how difficult this was, and I'll probably have nothing but good things to say about the dungeon. But right now, in the moment, I hate this. Oh, you're damageable. No way, that was so quick! Holy shit. Whatever. More damage. More witches. Oh, I fumbled. I fumbled. I fumbled. Yay! Damage! Let's go! I do appreciate them giving you this time to just, like, catch your breath <laughs> between rotations, you know? Whatever. Whatever. Oh, what? What did I do that for? No. Oh, Here's the thing. If I just don't get greedy, we can do this. That's that's the name of the game. She got bamboozled. Oh shit! We didn't hit the threshold in this one. No way. No way. We did it. We did the minimum damage that we can do to proceed. There's no possible way he could transmit it to me this fast. And then he did. <laughs> and I went into fighter. You oh, got bamboozled, look at you. After multiple failed attempts, I decided to give Strand a shot, something I've never really done. So the basic idea is you're going to use your Banner of War to keep you alive. You then pair a one-two punch shotgun with your melee for damage. It's simple in concept, but in practice, I was very overwhelmed. If you can pull it off, I highly recommend it. However, for me, having never done this before, having to worry about woven mail, my grapple charge, my melee charges, my shotgun, and tractor cannon just proved to be too much. Especially coming off of throw hammer and win. I see the potential damage because even with how bad that was, that was still so rough. Oh my god, I didn't even get to tractor him that time. Jesus. Oh shit. Even just that. Again, I see the potential. Wow. 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 Fuck you! Again, I've been using solar all night and I've never done this before, so like this compared to what I was doing all night is so much to keep up with. You got your tangles, your banner, your melees, your grapple, your one-two punch. It's like, this is uh, <laughs> more adept than just throw hammer and make things explode, that's for sure. Strand Titan is more efficient. Solar Titan will take longer, but it's simpler and safer, at least in my opinion. So while I could absolutely see the potential of Strand Titan, I'm gonna stick with my hammers, and I'll probably practice Strand another time. Even still, this Chimera is showing no sign of easing up, and we've already been here for an hour or two. Oh yeah, I also tried changing my charged melee keybind, which did not help at all and only led to more confusion. Nope. Nope. No, you're not the one I want to fucking punch, dog. Alright, let's try. You got bamboozled. What? I still have it, dog? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, don't give it back at the last second. Not even gonna hit the threshold, I don't think. I'm gonna give Ark a shot. Uh, we'll see how this goes, then. Oh, shit, shit. Oh, no. I just didn't find it very enjoyable anymore. Dude, Sunshot fucks, man. Holy cow. Wow. Get me out of here. Get me out. To the average to above average players out there, okay? I feel you. Is this doable? Yes. Is it hard? The feeling of fatigue was really starting to catch up to me. At this point, I had been streaming the solo attempt for nine hours straight. I really didn't want to admit defeat again. It may be called how not to solo, but that doesn't mean we always have to lose. Unfortunately, after nearly reaching the quota for another 12 hour video, I just couldn't function at maximum capacity anymore. And there you have it! <laughs> so, after 9 hours, I threw in the towel and went to orbit. You have my respects, Doc. When I'm done, half of humanity will still be alive. I hope they remember you.
But even after all that, I couldn't bring myself to give up. After losing the last two dungeons in a row, I was determined to conquer Warlord's Ruin. So I left for a couple days to come back refreshed and to get the solo operative mod. So now let's try this again. Let's do this one last time. I loaded back into the dungeon and made even quicker work of Fickrel's Child. I then returned to the Locust and had a frustratingly long series of beyond unfortunate deaths. Oh, I didn't reload. I'm fucking controller, what? On M and K, holy shit, I'm gonna die. There's literally... What the shit, dude, what? Fuck. Oh my, oh. <laughs> oh. I just saw that. If that wasn't bad enough, yeah, the very next attempt to this happened. Fuck me! No! You're really starting to piss me off. Yeah, that was really annoying. But eventually I got my shit together, and we took him down. Here we go! Let's go! With this victory over the Locust, I returned to challenge Heffend once again. Could not live with your own failure. Where did that bring you? Back to me. I don't know if I'm gonna win, but damn it, I am more than ready to try. I put on Loralee with Solar and got right into it. I also switched over to an auto-loading rocket launcher for slightly less but more reliable damage, something that proved to be a really great move. No longer. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh fucking. Oh my god. I had quite a few deaths, especially around the sleep paralysis demons. Welcome to the start. What the f See What do you mean? But eventually, I got in a full rotation. And soon after that, I started to fall into the rhythm and locked in. We're gonna get his health low, but we're not gonna get into the threshold because I want my super. That is exactly what I wanted. No! If I had a healing nade. Oh my god. I literally had a healing nade and I didn't throw it. Oh, that was fast. Oh, that's my hammer just went off the map. Well, that's cool. I'm not going up there till I have my hammer. Fuck that. Oh, shit. Fucking go chat. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Oh my god!
I'm shaking, dude. Every atom in my body is fucking shaking. We fucking did it. After nearly 16 hours of trying to solo this dungeon, I slayed the Chimera, and boy did it feel good. It may have taken two attempts, but the losing streak is finally over, and I couldn't be happier. No part twos this time. This was truly painful, but seeing Heffen's health finally reach zero, it makes it all worth it. If you want to solo this dungeon yourself, my one big piece of advice would be do what works for you. Take breaks, and don't let it get you too upset. Okay, I guess that was three things, but just give it time, learn as you go, and I'm sure you can make it. If you enjoyed the video, a like would be greatly appreciated, and if you're new around here, consider subscribing. We're dangerously close to 100k, and I really want to hit it before the end of the year. Also, if you want some IOT-themed merch, you can find it down below. If you enjoyed this video, on the left, you'll find my How Not to Solo Ghosts of the Deep video, and on the right, you'll find my Beyond Light Soul Link video. Thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, Guardians, goodbye.